and I don't want to forget my sandwich. But today, today's Monday, November 21st. Today's the first day of rifle season here in West Virginia. Rifle season runs two weeks. Uh, so we're laying down our elite bows for our high powered rifles issue <coughs> today. I'm shooting a Remington 700 bolt action. It's a, a 308 caliber. Hand load all my loads and stuff like that. So what we're going to do, I'm going to jump on a full wood this morning. We're going to go behind the house. We know there's nice bucks back there. It's all public property. Um, so there, I'm sure there's going to be other hunters in the woods where we're at. But you know, um, I'm by myself this morning. So I don't have a cameraman. Really kind of limited on places we can go this morning. So uh, I'm going to hop on a full wood. We're going to go back here and we're going to see what all we can see and see what we can get done. It's rained a whole lot here recently. It rained all day yesterday and all night last night. And it's it's seven o'clock right now and it's already 60 degrees outside so it's warm it's been wet rainy it's supposed to rain again today so we're, we're gonna try the best we can the bucks are still chasing yesterday Ben <coughs> Benny's dad and, and my dad all seen bucks behind does during the day yesterday in the rain so we know the bucks are still chasing so uh, we're gonna take off and get out here before daylight gets too bright and uh, see what all we can do. Y'all stay with us. We'll see you. All right, guys. I got some news that's kind of bittersweet. Um, this morning, after I got off the full wheeler, I got off the full wheeler just at the crack of dawn. And I started walking out the ridge line there where I was going to hunt, where I, my stand was. Uh, I had everything packed away. Uh, where I'm solo camping this morning, Dave's out on military leave. Ben's with his dad on private land. And, of course, my brother and my dad, they had work today. So everything was solo cammed. Um, before I was able to get to my stand, there was a doe running in front of me. And what was behind her, I, I couldn't pass up. I'm still a hunter in heart. So uh, if we can get it on film, that that's great. But if not, you know, sometimes exceptions can be made. And this is one buck that I had to make the exception for. Um, stay with me and we'll go, we'll go get him. We'll show him to you. Well guys, here he is. This is what I made the exception for. He's a typical 10 point. Um, he come running in right behind that doe. I had no time to get in my pack and get the camera out and get the tripods ready. I had to go ahead and take the shot, which we knew going out this morning solo camming that that's a possibility that had to be made. Um, but like I said, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't resist this buck. This is by far the biggest deer that I've ever killed. Gun, buck, or a buck with a gun, buck with a bow, or, or anything, car. <laughs> this is this is by far the biggest one that I've ever killed. Um, I've already measured him out. He's 18 inches inside. His uh, G3s over here is 10 inches tall. The back G2s are nine and a half. These over here, this G3 is nine and a half, and this one's six. Uh, like I said, he's 18 inches inside. One thing I did find about this buck this morning when I walked up on him after I shot, he has a bullet hole through the base of his horn. Um, so whether someone tried to poach this deer or whether I shot the deer in the horn, I, I'm not sure. But uh, there's only one hole in the body and there's one hole in the horn. And I dropped this deer in his tracks. So, but regardless, he's mine. I killed him and uh, I brought him to you right here on Endless Pursuit Outdoors. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.